Reporting. All right. Three stars. Cool. Oh. Tell me you got that. What the heck happened? Yeah, I got it. What do you mean you lost your... You're wearing them. Guy, look. Just pull them off your face. Day one. The wolf of Main Street. Okay, all right. Jesus. Okay, well, this game is a little bit different than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a side scroll whatever sort of game. Uh, but okay, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're, we were for the local news. Isn't that exciting? We're, we're moving up in the world. Well, this is a great start. I, um, I'm stuck. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the game real quick. Excuse me. I'm almost done. I'll be with you in just a sec. Grab the camera. Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome to the newsroom, rookie. This is the heart and soul of the local news. The most popular streaming service of Butterfly Valley. Very cool. Well, the one and only streaming service of Butterfly Valley, but certainly the most popular. I've been waiting to finally meet you. I mean, at least for 30 minutes. You can't act that slow. In news business, speed is everything. Things are really starting to snowball here, so I'm in a desperate need of help. But remember, I don't need a sidekick. Cliff Rockslide is a lone wolf. Like all the wolves are meant to be. Uh-huh. Also, super awesome to hear you're not in it for the money. Kids these days are all about get rich or take selfies trying. <laughs> and um, truth, this guy speaks truth. I don't care too much for money and look how far it got me. Just follow my lead and it could be you running a news agency from a garage in just a few years. I'm getting ahead of myself. You must have a gazillion questions, but let me ask first. Have you ever worked with news? Sure, yeah. That's awesome. You know your ins and outs, then? As you probably have figured out, you work as my trusty camera person. You have a huge responsibility. Are you comfortable with moving and interacting with the environment? Sure. Yeah. That's the spirit. There's really nothing much to it. Follow my lead and point the camera to the right direction. You can zoom with the mouse. Well, okay, we got tutorial. Got it. Just remember the golden rule of outlining. Green is for widescreen and purple for zoom. Now let's see the camera work once more. Frame my flat screen on the right for a wide shot. There is, is this okay? Yeah, now that we've gotten the obvious stuff out of the way, let's talk a bit about what we're doing here. Like I said, I run the biggest streaming service around here. We report everything. My dream is to gather over a hundred subscribers <laughs> so that I could dip into the sweet, sweet advertising money. And when we get there, you'll get your cut too. Very cool. A whole hundred subs. Holy shit. This man is really going places. You can see the subscriber count on the top right corner of your camera's viewport. I'm off to a good start and I expect to hit double digits next week. With your help, maybe even sooner. We have seven subscribers. People generally subscribe when they like the content and unsubscribe if they dislike it. So you have to point your camera carefully. Gaining an audience is hard, but losing it is easy. So this is more like instead of like a news sort of job, I'm, I'm doing like vlogging, like I'm vlogging his day to day for subscribers. See, he, he's the next Logan Paul. OK, all right. Jesus Christ, I'm not doing this for the moolah but a little economical gain is a good motivator. Just remember that we're in it for the journalism. Well, that's pretty much it. Let's get to reporting. Stream engaged. We've gotten ourselves one heck of a story to kick things off. My sources report that Mrs. Riverbend has a giant pumpkin in her front yard. This might be a wild goose chase, but we need to check it out. Run like the wind. News never sleeps. Oh, and there he goes. He's off. Holy shit. Hold on. Slow down. Holy. Oh my god. Dude, chill. Oh my, and the, okay, there actually is a giant Breaking pumpkin. News. Okay, all right. Jesus Christ. Hello, Miss Riverbend. Well, hello there, young man. Are you here for your internet home video? It's called a stream, but yes, I am. I want you to meet my new associate, the camera person. Nice to meet you, dear. I'm so happy that Cliff doesn't have to be lonely anymore. <laughs> what the? We're here about the pumpkin. My sources didn't lie. It's humongous. This is Cliff Rockside, and I'm reporting live from the yard of Mrs. Riverbend. She has made botanical history with her out-of-this-world pumpkin. Mrs. Riverbend, tell us everything. Well, I was pretty surprised when I found it in my garden. I planted the seeds yesterday, and the pumpkin had broken through my greenhouse windows last night. It took me ages to drag it here. So this thing grew overnight. Got it. It's a uh, cursed pumpkin. 
get I probably remove it. You mean it happened overnight? It sure did. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Not even in the 60s. And back then, we had plenty of plant-related weirdness going on. No, oh, the weed. Mrs. Riverbend, this indeed is one of the most spectacular things my eyes have ever witnessed. What are your plans regarding this record-breaking natural wonder? I don't know. A pumpkin pie made from this could feed an entire army. Obviously, I'm not going to do that since I've been strictly anti-war for decades. So if you're hungry for a huge pumpkin pie or for world peace, remember to contact Miss Riverbend. We'll keep you informed on this developing story. Thank you, Mrs. Riverbend. Do you have anything to add? Any final thoughts? Well, you might want to talk to Hoss Beaverton. I bought a flask of new manure from him and I suspect it had something to do with this. Hoss Beaverton? If we just had this manure in the 60s, it would have been flower over power. I can't imagine what kind of animal could produce something this potent? Hoss could cure world hunger. World hunger. Hoss Beaverton. That would be the day. Anyways, this is local news with Cliff Rockslide. Thank you, Mrs. Riverbend, for the story, which certainly got me gasping for air. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Always a pleasure, dear. Say hello to your mom for me, okay? She sure thing, Miss Riverbend. Oh, reporting. all right. Three stars, cool. Got <laughs> 11 subscribers. There you go, buddy. Double digits. Just what you wanted, right? Uh, so, uh, uh, what, what now? What, what do I do now? Hey, hold on a minute. I'm so thirsty from all this running and reporting, I could really use a cup of coffee at this point. You gotta stay hydrated. It, and this goes to the viewers as well. You can never drink too much. Okay, listen. You, you don't. If you're dehydrated, coffee is the last thing you need, my guy. All right, listen. You you need to get f fucking electrolytes and shit. You need to drink water. Water. You can never drink too much water. You can easily drink too much Tabasco sauce, for example. What? D d can this thing listen to me? Is this game listening to me? Or ink? Actually. Any amount of ink is too much to drink. Do you know this from experience? What? What is your freaking deal? Well, enough with this crucial help tips. I'll race you to the coffee shop. Huh? He's so much faster. Look, look at him. He's all the way up there. So I need to meet up with him here, right? Well, well, if it isn't the local law enforcement. Hi, Glyph. How's everything? Any interesting news stories to share? Don't encourage him. I just want to eat the donut of mine in peace. It's that too much to ask. Here's a breaking story for you. Police officer needlessly distracted by a grown man pretending to have a job. So we're not actual news, we're just some guy running around town looking for news, I guess. Sergeants Ricks and Pecker, life in the local news business is always busy. But I'm never too busy to catch up with the police. Do you have any news for me? Or stream audience? You ain't actually my first choice for a trustworthy media person around this town. But to tell you the truth, we only have the same old story. Nothing special going on. Nonsense. You just have to keep your eyes open. We just reported a major news event regarding a pumpkin the size of a small car. I bet you didn't know about that. Wow, that does sound amazing. I told you, don't encourage him. And no, we didn't know about it because we don't have jurisdiction over attraction-hungry vegetables. That's why I can't arrest you. So what are you doing here? Are you hunting down dangerous criminals or just ensuring the safety of the good people of Butterfly Valley? Currently, we're investigating if the sound of an annoying streaming man-child can be ignored with a very determined donut eating. <laughs> Sorry, Cliff, nothing newsworthy to give you. I don't think that the low quality of coffee in this place is actually news to anyone. Dang, I was hoping for a scoop. My audience craves for exclusive content. Well, shut up, twerp ricks. Did you hear something? Yeah, some weird noises coming from at that gas station across the street. Oh. Tell me you got that. What the heck happened? Yeah, I got it. Come on, Ricks, let's hustle. I hope no one Breaking got hurt. News. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> yep. Let's go get this filmed. Gee whiz, Mr. Pecker, that was some loud bang. Sweet cheese and crackers, son. What in the heck happened? Well, at first I was jamming hard on this guitar solo, playing on the radio. Then I ran into a pothole and the van doors opened. Good thing the barrel rolled out before it exploded. This is Cliff Rock Slide, and I'm bringing you exclusive content. Do you realize what could have happened? 
You're right next to a gas station. I didn't know that gas station owners are super afraid of explosions. How do they survive the 4th of July with all the fireworks going on? This guy's a fucking idiot. You dimwit, you could have destroyed half the town with your shenanigans. What was in that barrel? I don't know, miss. I was supposed to deliver it to the farm. Haas Beaverton told me to pick it up from the woods. There was just the barrel, nothing else. Dear viewers, this is a live report of a massive explosion which happened only minutes ago. Okay, we need to calm the situation. This could have ended real bad and it still can, so let's not waste any time. And there you have it, an official statement from the fire department of Butterfly Valley. We avoided a real catastrophe here. There's an unavoidable personal catastrophe coming for you if you don't shut your pie hole. Now take it easy, Cliff's just doing his job. Shooting home videos for a handful of nerds counts as a job. Those nerds have the same right to know the truth as anyone. Secondly, there's now at least two handfuls of them. Hey, Mr. Pecker. What? Can I go? I really need to get to the farm. You're not going anywhere. We're going to go to the police station to figure this out. The police station? You're in big trouble, sonny boy. Dear viewers, it looks like things are escalating. Pecker, you know that our work requires calm conditions. Could you start assuring them by giving us some peace from the media? My pleasure. You turn off the camera right this instant. And there you have it, folks. Butterfly Valley Police Force is trying to suppress freedom of press. One more peep out of you and you're coming with us. Epic reporting. Thanks, God. <laughs> I got three stars again. Let's go, 16 subscribers, hell yeah. We're moving up in the world. We need to be somewhere. Mr. Wilson has a new dog and animals are always news. Let's get a move on. God fucking damn, we have a lead to something big. And th this is this is how you want to spend your time? You know I'm live still, right? Have been since the start. Breaking news. Mm, all right, uh, there's the breaking news thing again. Hello there, Mr. Wilson. Hello there, Cliff. I didn't realize you'd be here so fast. Speed is our pride and joy. News must travel fast. Yes, yes, I've been trying to reach you, see? Dear viewers, we're in the heart of human interest stories. As Mr. Wilson has just acquired a new dog for himself, please tell us all about it. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I lost my glasses. What do you mean you've lost your- you're wearing them. Guy, look, just- Pull him off your face! Isn't it true that you found this poor animal in the woods when you were taking a walk? Yes, that's exactly what happened. But like I said, I didn't have my glasses. Wow. So you adopted the dog then and there. Well, he or she haven't had the courage to find out, was very forthcoming, and seemed friendly. So I took the poor animal home. The first thing I did was wash the creature, or rather I tried to wash it. You see, I'm getting more certain that it's not a Mr. Wilson. You truly are a national treasure. A dog's best friend. Wait a minute, Cliff. The trouble started the moment I got home with the animal. Because then I found my eyeglasses. Where are you keeping the dog? Our viewers would love to see the star of this story. Inside, right behind this very door. I'm outside for a good reason. Dear viewers, I don't know about you, but I'm dying to see that dog. Mr. Wilson, let us see your new friend. By all means, but I wouldn't open the door if I were you. My, my, aren't you a big fellow? Be careful, Cliff. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. So somebody commented, I'm not sure if that's a dog. <laughs> hey, don't show your teeth at me. I just want to give you belly rubs. Belly rubs? Oh my. Wait a minute. You're not a dog. Not a dog? Don, I was worried that you'd say that. This is a wolf. Well, thank you for confirming that. I was suspecting the very same thing. Why the heck did you contact us and not the police? I need someone to verify if it's a dog or a wolf. And that's not a police matter. This is a job for a reporter. So thank you for your help. I am so relieved to finally find that out. Relieved? You have a wild... Angry wolf inside your house. That doesn't bother me at all. What really scares me is the unknown. Now that I know that the creature is a wolf, I can be at peace with this situation. Thank you, Cliff. And you're not afraid to go back in. Should we call the police? No, no, I'm not scared at all. I, I think the wolf also needs some private time to process this latest information about him or her not being a dog. Better leave the creature to it. Right, uh, well, dear audience, what a powerful news story this is. It speaks to us all. When was the last time you checked your pet's authenticity? Is there a wolf in dog's clothing living inside your house? This is the crucial information and questions only local news 
and Cliff Rockslide can bring to you. Remember to subscribe. And it looks like we overstayed our welcome. There can be only one alpha. Just follow me and keep streaming. I'll try to outrun the beast. Uh, I'm trying, but you ran off way too quickly, my guy. Yeah, they're, they're like long gone. Like, I can't. There's no way I can catch up to them. My man went for a fucking run. Holy shit. Where's the wolf? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, alright. Yep. Yeah.